this video I'm going to build a simple local storage based note program using the ZTXT editor. I'll start by creating a new document called notes. Now ZTXT automatically knows that if you don't include a period in your file name uh, that you want to create a folder. Inside of notes I have the option to delete notes, rename notes, or create a new document. So I'm going to create a new document and I'll call it index.html. I'll create a folder called CSS, a folder called JS, and inside JS I'm going to create a JavaScript file called notes.js, and inside CSS I'm going to create a style sheet called style.css. Um, inside index.html I'm going to create a new document that includes jQuery, by saying z colon jQuery tab, and that will create a default HTML5 document with a um, script tag that includes the latest version of jQuery along with an on downloaded uh, function. So, what's nice about this uh, shortcut is that it gives you uh, a really easy way to create a simple demos. So, I can create HTML down here. I'll make a div with an ID of box. I can add style to it. I can create JavaScript. <clears throat> size a little bit. So now I can click the box and it turns blue. Pretty boring. Um, but uh, the HTML is syntax um, highlighted and formatted. Same with the CSS, same with the JavaScript, all in the same document. Really nice for simple demonstrations really bad for large projects. Um, I'm going to scrap my style and script tags and this HTML and I'll add a title tag called title called notes. I'll include my style sheet by saying link tab and I'm going to say CSS style.css. After jQuery I'm going to include my JavaScript file js slash notes js and this uh, program is just going to be a simple form that adds uh, notes that are removable and those notes will be saved in local storage so when you refresh the page or close the browser and reopen the browser those notes are saved so we'll start with a title h2 notes. Now the form id equals add note. An input field with an id of note value. Its type is text. It's got a placeholder of note text. Auto complete is going to be off. Then we'll add a button with the word add in it. Um, <clears throat> after the form, I'm going to make a div where all the notes will live. That's pretty much all the HTML that we're going to need. Inside notes.js, I'm going to create the on downloaded function and a selector for the document and a selector for the form. Um, 
when the form is submitted, I want to prevent default on it. This makes it so that the page doesn't refresh when the Add button is clicked. Like so. Um, then I want to check the value of the note, uh, input text field, and if it's not empty, I'll create a note. So I'll make a variable called value, set it equal to add note val. I'll trim the note value, which will remove white space from the beginning and end of the string. And if it still has a length, <clears throat> I'll say make note, and I'll also empty out the text field by saying note value val empty. I see a little typo here that says add note, it should say note value. Now I'll write the make note function, which takes should take an argument for the value. I'll make a div, prepend it to notes. So let me select the notes div. I'll give it a class of note, and text will be equal to the value that's passed in. And let's see what happens. Looking good so far. Now I want to add a close button or an X button uh, to each note so that they can be deleted. So I'll make a button. I'll append it to the note. Give it a class of X. Give it text of capital X. <clears throat> now, um, because I'm going to be using local storage, um, what can happen is I could make 10 nodes, let's say, Um, these X buttons will will work um, if I were to do something like this X dot click function um, and remove the note. Oops. So that'll work. The problem is when you refresh, those notes will be there, those X's will be there, and this click handler. Um, will not be attached to the X. So in old versions of jQuery, we used to use uh, something called live, where we would say it doesn't matter when this thing has been added to the page. Um, if it has the class X, we're going to uh, give it this handler for a click. Um, now we use on. So you usually want to add um, your on function to the document. And we say when we click on the document, if the target of that click event is a X class, run this handler. And now it doesn't matter if you refresh the page or it doesn't matter when the X was added. Uh, as long as whatever we're clicking on has the X class, it's going to have this handler as well. So <clears throat> I'm going to say this parent uh, remove. So the the button's parent will be removed when you click the button. Let's take a look. I'll delete two, I'll delete three, I'll delete them all. So the last thing to do is to store, uh, well in the JavaScript anyway, is to store uh, this in local storage. And there's a nice little trick for this for small apps where you can um, basically store the HTML that's inside the notes div um, and uh, it looks like this. If local storage, uh, call this test notes. So if there's this thing called test notes, 
um, the notes div dot html equals local storage test notes. Then I'm going to write a function called save. And anytime we alter the DOM, we want to save those changes. So local storage test notes equals notes HTML. So we're, we're updating the uh, test notes property of local storage so that it can be used after the page is refreshed or after the browser is closed and reopened. Um, and there are only two places where we're altering the DOM, and that is after we make a note we want to save, and after we remove a note we want to save. So let's try it. I made four notes. I'll delete three and test. And it has memorized uh, or has in memory those uh, three notes. So all that's left to do is tweak the CSS. So I'll go to my style sheet and I'll say, uh, do some basic stuff. Okay, I'm going to float the button right. And this shrinks the uh, uh, height of the note, so I'm going to say over flow hidden on the note. And my, my CSS is formatted a little bit funky, so I'll just hit auto format. And I'll just say border radius 2px. That's a little, maybe a little more. Four. And maybe a little margin. Yeah, good enough. I can test it in a tab. I can see that it remembers the notes can delete notes, can refresh the page, and it all stays there. When I'm finished with the demo, I usually just comb over it once quickly to uh, maybe tweak the code a little bit, uh, fix formatting, maybe rename a few variables, see if there are any uh, things that stand out. So I'm going to look at the HTML. And can get rid of this extra space. Can check out the style sheet. Looks fine. Nothing really standing out to me. This all looks pretty straightforward. So that's it.